Hi everyone, my name is Glenn Bartley and welcome to another video blog. I'm here today to talk about an important subject and that is lens calibration. You know, we go out and we buy these really fancy, expensive lenses and in order to make sure that we're getting the absolute maximum sharpness out of them, it's really important that you calibrate your lenses. The last few generations of cameras have allowed you to uh, calibrate each individual lens, even a lens with a teleconverter or without a teleconverter, so that the camera's focusing ability is absolutely perfect. Now, you can do this with just a ruler or something like that, but there's some really cool devices. I've got one here by uh, Spider. It's the Spider Lens Cal, which really help you to do this a lot more accurately and, and a little bit easier. So let's take a look here, what's in the box here. Basically, we've got uh, the Lens Cal unit here. And it's not rocket science, it just clips together like this. And all you need to do is set this up. You can either set it up on a flat surface or you can use a, a tripod or a stand. It's got a level on here. And all you need to do then is to focus your camera right here or right here. And this device is going to tell you whether or not your lens is actually focusing in front of the subject or behind the subject. You can then use your camera's lens calibration setting to dial it in just perfectly and enable the absolute maximum sharpness that your lens is capable of. So let's take a look at how this works. Uh, so we'll get it set up on my 500 millimeter. Okay, so as you can see here now, I've got the uh, lens cal unit set up on a stand and it's been leveled. Okay, so I've got my lens set up here now. This is the 500 millimeter. I've got a 1.4 converter on here and I'm using my Canon 7D. I've set myself up exactly parallel with our target down there and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and focus on the target and take some pictures. I've enabled the camera's mirror lockup function to make sure there's no vibrations and I'm also going to use the two second timer just to make sure that hopefully the, uh, the images are sharp so that we have something good to, to analyze. Um, and then we're going to be able to see whether or not the camera is focusing right on zero, right on the target, or is it in front or behind, and we'll be able to adjust accordingly. So let's go ahead and take a few pictures here. And now we're going to look and see what the results look like. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at those results here. If I hit the play button here, you can see the target there. If we zoom right in, now you're probably not going to be able to see this on the video, but if we zoom right in here, we can actually see that it appears that the lens is focusing pretty, pretty good, but it may be focusing a little bit in front of the actual target. So what we can do, go into the menu, go into the custom functions and into the autofocus, and custom function here uh, for the autofocus micro adjustment, we can adjust by lens. So if we hit that, and then we hit info, it's going to allow us to adjust the focus either further away or closer to the camera and really dial that in so that we get the absolute best performance. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to do it again for the lens without the teleconverter. And I'm going to do all my other lenses too because this is a really important thing to make sure that you get the absolute most out of uh, these expensive lenses that you're buying. Okay, so after some thorough testing, it turns out that my lenses were actually pretty well calibrated. Uh, my 500 millimeter without the converter, I left the setting at zero, and with the 1.4 converter on, I moved it to plus two. Uh, I found that the lens was front focusing just a little bit, but that just a little bit could make a difference between the absolute sharpest shot and not so great of a shot. So if this isn't something that you've done and you own a big expensive lens, I can highly recommend the Spider Lens Cal as a good tool to do this. I really think it's worthwhile, uh, especially considering all the money you spend on lenses and camera equipment. And it's important to remember that while your current lens might be uh, functioning good, when you get a new camera, you're going to have to redo this process because the lens now has to talk with another different piece of electronics. So I hope you found this video helpful, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.